Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Jonathan Madrid, AK Young Jet Set. Uh, but yeah, so in this video, I'm just going to be talking about uh, how I made $10,000. Uh, I think it was either my first or second month of dropshipping. I'm not too sure I have to check. Uh, but anyways, I made $10,000 my first or second month dropshipping. And uh, me and Jacob both, we both hit $10,000 around the same time. Um, you guys don't know who Jacob is. He's basically my partner, my business partner, my best friend. been friends with him since day one. Uh, but anyways, I'm basically going to be talking to you guys about, you know, my whole success story. How I started, uh, you know, dropshipping. How I started Shopify and basically you know how I became an entrepreneur in general uh, so yeah so basically all my life um, I've been an entrepreneur I started selling things when I was young uh, my dad basically pushed it upon you know me and Josh a lot when we were young he wanted us to sell things he wanted us to learn how to make money on our own and you know that's what we did that's how we learned so uh, I remember I think in third or fourth grade I used to sell these I love booby bracelets right um, back then they're really big the newest trend I used to sell them for 20 bucks each right I bought them from wholesale on Aliexpress sold them for 20 bucks each and um, I used to sell them uh, you know kids at our school I, I make you know I believe it or not I made like a couple hundred bucks like every week or every two weeks and um so yeah so I started selling things when I was young third grade and fifth grade um I became the president of my school and you know I took advantage of that so I started selling I made these you know president's wristband right and basically said vote John for uh, president I sold them for like two bucks each right so those I made a good amount of money off of that and sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, that's when I really started, you know, selling like candy. I started, I started selling candy, chip, um, stuff like that. So I started selling candy. I went to Sam's Clubs, I went to Costco, I went to Winco, and I bought wholesale foods, and I sell them for more. So I buy chips for a dollar, and I sell it for two. I buy chips for, I buy, you know, Sour Patch Kids for two dollars, and I sell it for four or five. And I, basically, I've been selling things all my life. And um, I wanted to, you know, make a little bit more money. And no matter what, me and Jacob, we used to always figure out a way to make money because we're obsessed with money. We love money. I'm pretty sure most of you guys can relate. You guys love money. You guys like to have money in your hands, like to have money in your bank account, just like to have money in general. So me and Jacob, we always try to find different ways in making money. And so um, I remember the first thing we did, I think this was like ninth or ninth grade, 10th grade. Yeah, ninth or 10th grade. Um, we used to mow lawns. So we used to go around, we used to, you know, ask our neighbors, like, hey, we'll mow your lawn for 10, 15, 20 bucks. And um, so we did that and we made probably like, not too much, we made like 50, 60 bucks. Um, you know, most people have like, you know, gardener, gardeners and stuff like that to mow their lawns. But we made a good amount of money off of that. And then I was just like, man, I'm trying to make more money. I'm, I was like, damn, I'm trying to make more money. And this time, um, keep in mind, Josh was, you know, doing his whole e-commerce. He was doing everything, you know, he was drop shipping. He was doing affiliate marketing. He was just doing, he was basically, I, this is when he started, you know, popping off of Instagram and started making a lot of money and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I want to do something similar to what Josh does. And I found out, me and Jacob found out that there's something called drop shipping, right? But we only heard of Amazon through eBay. And so we did Amazon through eBay for a little bit. When the trend was around, it was called fidget spinners, right? So we used to sell fidget spinners. Um, you know, we buy it off of Amazon for like one dollar, and we sell it for like three, four, five, even ten dollars on eBay. And uh, keep in mind, we didn't touch the product. It was drop shipping. So someone buy it off of eBay. We put their address into Amazon, and we ship it out to them, which was a pain in the butt because this wasn't like Shopify or Barlow, where you know, uh, you know, you get a sale and then you fulfill it and it does everything by itself. We actually had to manually, um, you know, do everything ourselves. Put in the address. Put in the number and all that information which was a hassle but it was worth it because at the end of the day um, we probably made a couple thousand off of that right and so um, I kept on doing Amazon through eBay and Jacob kept on doing Amazon through eBay but then he figured out something called you know Shopify and drop shipping and so he started you know creating his website he started you know making a store and at this time you know I didn't want to get started with it because I didn't know what it was I didn't I didn't want to start it it seemed like a lot of um, it seemed like a lot of work in general and uh, back then I didn't like to put in the work I didn't like to do the things that I needed to do to basically you know be successful um when it comes to like the online business and stuff like that and so you know he was making his website and this was finals week so keep in mind we had finals week he's you know working on his website studying for finals i'm over here doing amazon through ebay studying for my finals i remember maybe the last day of finals he puts up an eight dollar ad I was, at, I was at his house at the time he put up an eight dollar ad and he made like 375 bucks or something like that and from there i was like whoa what the heck like what are you doing to be making so much money at such a young age or so much money so fast so quick right it was literally just orders coming in coming in coming in coming in i was like okay so i gotta get started with this so then uh, we went straight to my house after that and he set up he helped me set up my store within like a day or two next day I put up an ad uh eight dollar ad made like 400 bucks or something like that 
And um, from there, I just been scaling up. Um, it was crazy too. So I remember when I hit my first 10,000 month. Um, well, first, before I start with the 10,000 month, I remember when I hit my first $500 day. I remember when I hit my first $1,000 day. I remember when I hit my first $3,000 day. And it was just crazy. All that was in one month, right? So I hit my first $1,000 day and I was like, yo, like this is absolutely crazy, okay? I'm going to school and I'm getting a whole, whole bunch of notifications saying, you just gotta order, you just gotta order, you just gotta order, you just gotta order. And keep in mind, I was doing the free plus shipping method. So like a lot of people were coming and visiting my site. A lot of people were ordering things because I only charged like $8, $8.93 or something like that. And so I was making a lot of money, right? I hit my first thousand dollar day, I was super hyped. I was like, okay, let's scale this up. Let's try to hit 2,000, right? Maybe like a couple of days later, I find a you know, crazy influencer, uh, super good. I paid him 140 bucks, right? And um, I was skeptical about this influencer at first because he wasn't responding to me. And it was really just pissing me off because like, I hit him up, I'm like, hey, um, you know, I sent you the money, here's my post, here's my caption, uh, here's the link that, you know, I wanna promote my product to. And so I sent him everything, right? And the next day, I tell, oh, well, that day I tell him to post it at a certain time, and I look, and he doesn't post it. I'm like, bro, and I go back, I DM him, I'm like, yo, man, you have to post it, or else I'm gonna dispute it, I'm gonna get my money back, just post it, right? And so at this, at this point in time, I was like, I'm probably not gonna get as much um, you know, engagement, I'm probably not gonna get that many sales just because one, this dude doesn't seem reliable, this dude doesn't seem like you know he's legit. And um, at the time I was thinking like his followers are fake, I was thinking his likes are fake and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, whatever, um, you know, I'll see how it goes. So I tell him again, I was like, okay, post it tomorrow at this time, right? So he goes, I wake up in the morning, and uh, keep in mind, uh, when I woke up, okay, the day before um, I woke up, before before the day I made $2,000, um, I made 700 bucks, right? And when I woke up, it said 700 bucks, and it said today. And I was like, oh, what the heck, like, this is probably like a glitch, it probably glitched out from yesterday, and said I made 700 bucks today. And um, I was like, I was like dripping out. So I'm looking at my, my Shopify store, and it says 700 and like 30, 740. And I was like, huh, this is probably like a glitch. And then I see orders just coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. I was like, no, this is not a glitch. Like, this is crazy. I made 700 bucks uh, at 7 a.m. right when I woke up at 7 a.m. I was like, okay, this is absolutely crazy. I just woke up, I have 700 bucks already. And then I want to say maybe first or second period, maybe eight or nine o'clock, um, I already have a thousand, I hit a thousand. Then I was freaking out. I was like, okay, it's barely you know noon and I'm already hitting a thousand dollars in sales. And then um, I want to say probably a fourth or fifth period, I hit 2,000, then I was like, oh my God, my first $2,000 day at school, I'm making like more money than everyone in the class, and I probably made more than the teacher has already made um, that past hour. So then I was just like tripping out, and at the end of the day, I came back home with 20, 2,800, 2,700, or something like that, and I was just like, dang, like this works. I was like, now I just need to make 10 times that. Now I just need to scale up now. You know, now that I have this money, now I know what I'm doing. I just gotta, you know, uh, scale up. I just gotta make, you know, 10 times as this. And I just got super hyped. And um, that month, I just kept working hard. I kept finding a whole bunch of influencers. I kept finding, you know, the right. I tried, okay, by the way, if you guys want me to make a video on what niche made me and Jacob like $60,000, comment below if you guys want to see that video. Me and Jacob will actually have the products in hand. We'll review them. Uh, we might show the site that we're selling it on. But yeah, if you guys want to see that video on how me and Jacob made $60,000 um, when at 16 years old, our first Shopify store, then comment below. We'll go ahead and make that. Yeah, so I was just truly amazed when I hit my first $3,000 day, uh, when I hit my first $10,000 month, guys. I didn't know at 16 years old that I could be making $10,000 um, a month back then. It was just, I don't know, I was just mind blown. Because you, you never hear, you know, young people, you know, making moves. You never hear young people making this much money at such a young age. Like, it's unheard of. Like, it's crazy how you can make so much money online at a young age. Like, think about it. We have Twitter. We have Instagram. We have YouTube. Uh, we have MySpace. No, kidding, not MySpace. But we have Facebook. All those social media accounts, you guys can make so much money off of it. I mean, you guys have to use, you know, your social media for the good, not for the bad. So, what I mean by that, you know, use your social media to make money. Use your social media to network with people. Don't use your social media to tweet at people and be like, yo, F you, uh, bro, F you, you know, you, you, stole, you stole my girlfriend, blah, blah, Like, that's pointless, absolute pointless. It's not going to get you nowhere. In a couple months, that's going to be totally irrelevant. Use social media for the good. Use social media to make money. Use social media to network with people. That's the biggest thing, guys. Your network is your net worth, meaning that if you can connect, 
connect with a whole bunch of people, figuring out more ways to make money. Um, you know, it's just crazy. A lot of people, a lot of young people, um, don't use social media for the right. But um, that's basically it for the video. I just wanted to talk about how I made ten thousand dollars my first and second month with drop shipping, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoy this video, if you guys want me to do like a little more story times and stuff like that on how much I made and all that good stuff, uh, comment below. Comment below what videos you guys want me to see next. Comment below if you guys want me and Jacob to make a video on what niche made us sixty thousand um, dollars with our first store. So if you guys want to see that video, comment below. And um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, why did you subscribe? Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, something like this. Boom, right? That easy. And yeah, the 16-year-old entrepreneur is out. Peace.